Hi, I'm the Wandering Newbie, and I did not open up Task Manager. Uh, Shotgun Durst, thank you for the resub! Um, today, we have a Final Fantasy XI event. And it's like weirdly formatted. Because this is what we got at first was like two small fights, a medium fight, a hard fight, and then an apocalypse. And then like three days later, they dropped this, another ultimate, and these three apocalypse double pluses. Of which I would really need to say like. Are kind one of them is kind of hard. The, other, the, the, the final one I found to be piss easy, but anyway, more on that later. Absolute virtue, thank you, Lord. And now I'm trying to remember what the name of the minion is that you get in 14, because it's like near virtue or something. It's like kind of virtue, sort of virtue. But I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's something along those lines. Cardinal virtue. Which I guess isn't really as along those lines as I thought it was. Conditional. Is it conditional? Conditional virtue sounds right. Ah, oh, so this guy's here. Minotaur. He does earth attacks. Uh, he apparently counters a lot of physical stuff. But the counter is tauntable, I believe. So... If you bring an auto taunt, record material, you just don't care. Sure is. Oh, shit, right. I got tweets. Can can I tweets and do this fight? Am I that multifaceted? No, both of those Christmas characters got released in Grand Blue, and I don't think I looked at either of them. Because I think my, my brain parts were, well, I'm probably not pulling for them, so I'll live. I don't need to know anything about them. came in here without armor on if that would still make the fight a threat a new threat if you will whoops
Why was that sound effect so quiet? Damn, I just realized that I instinctively put six star abilities on people, even though I'm not supposed to. That's not how my gimmick works in Ultimate. I'm not allowed these six star abilities. Ah, eh, piss. Oh, whatever. Oh boy. Ha. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay. First of all, Gaza Caffrey, thank you for the reason. We're fine here. How are you? Well, we're fine. He slowed. This is fine. That first health bar went a little fast. <laughs> what if I abused the fact that I suddenly brought a uh, six star ability into this? Save Shantoto. <laughs> it's fine.
sure I grabbed a tissue before sitting down. So, some of you may or may not remember Lilith. Uh, Lilith and our upcoming Lilith 2 bosses. Uh, main gimmicks are that they do these ads, and one of the ads is particularly nasty in that it puts a uh, doom timer on everyone, or a, a, a number of people, uh, and you have to react and take out that doom target, or that, that enemy, fast enough to dispel the doom. Uh, aside from that, mainly just damage, and the big thing is that the, the damage spread that the bosses do, uh, it's kind of all over the place. No real one element to speak of. We've had to me seeing a common thing with most of these Apocalypse level fights where they are all kind of summoning ads, except for one. One doesn't summon ads, but he has his own weird gimmick. They all have gimmicks, actually, this time around, which is neat and fun. We usually don't get uh, Apocalypse fights with real-ass gimmicks. I kind of went with a non-elemental team for no particular reason. This boss isn't omni-resistant. I just wanted to go non-elemental. So yeah. There it is. She does Moonlight Veil, and then she summons the Ad. The Ad puts the 15 second Doom, and then she buffs the Ad to make the Ad resistant. So then you gotta punch through this ad's buff HP. I just saw what happened. Well, this is a problem, isn't it? Just fucking uh, go with this. Because that'll kill the ad. I prepped for this. I used my mind's eye and saw it coming. Really what happened there is that her debuffs were off. Because Tyra was confused for like five turns.
See? That did, like, way less damage. My attack buff may have worn off, too? Nah, I'm still good. Meteor after meteor after meteor. Okay, now I think it might have worn off. But what if I just won the fight? Consider. Not this is in the back row with the sword. That's a good point. You know, sometimes you're on your sixth, seventh, eighth fight party you put together and you just go cross-eyed and miss an aspect of it. Dissidia. Cam is the nest of Final Fantasy in that nobody knew who this was until he got put into Dissidia. So Cam's gimmick is every time he uses a blade attack, he buffs his resistance and attack uh, to that element. So his gimmick is over the course of the fight, he becomes more and more dangerous. But like in a weird and interesting way, also it gives you a ton of meter. For reference, uh, by the way, Theodore up there is using Saint's Cross because uh, I had the five hit defense down one on him before and he almost died. <laughs> so I decided to play a little slower and a little safer. Yeah, that said, he also does shit out a whole bunch of damage. If you're lucky, though, he, uh, he rotates through his actions to enough a degree that you don't get hit by the same ones in a row. Because that's actually where he gets super dangerous. Uh, if he actually gets to the higher stacks of offense... He will start dealing like that about thousands of damage with with actually that was the that was the only the single hit one so that wasn't too bad. Uh, he'll start dealing like thousand damage with the multi hit one though, and that's that's when it gets really really dangerous. Hence why I brought the party that uh, heals a whole lot.
Oh, right, your... Your Goint doesn't stack in element, it just does it. I think you see it from time to time, because he has an element super. Do I not have Salsa on this party? No, I have Passionate Salsa. I have Passionate Salsa and Feebling Jitterbug. Because they sack. You get like on an enemy that resists stat down, you get like a 33% stat reduction on them. It's wild. Those two dances are really good together. Oh, this is going way better than my test. Mainly <laughs> because a lot of my test was trying to keep Seedor alive because he had super defense reduction. Also, I think he's actually rotating through his swords a lot more in this. There is a bit of RNG to this fight because uh, what sword he decides to use is completely RNG. Um, so if he doesn't actually rotate through them, then, like I said, you start getting way more damage than you can handle. Like right now, his earth is actually pretty high. His wind is really high too, holy shit. If he did the, uh, the wind sword, AOE multi-hit, yeah, we hit a double. Yeah. If he did that multiple times in a row, I would be fucked. Alright, now he's getting rude. We got there, though. This one isn't too scary if you rush him down. It literally, he just becomes a problem in situations like the one I demonstrated here, where you actually let the fight go on long enough for him to build up those stats. That's when it gets dangerous. Wish I did, because I've heard that that campaign quest is really good for uh, silver certs and white scales and some other bullcrap. I ain't got time for that though. All right, so ascended Lilith is more or less the same gimmick of normal Lilith. She will summon ads. The ads do AOE. Um. I set this team up for Holy Resist, and then afterwards learned that that's doesn't really do anything. But then could not think of other stuff to put on, so I left them with the Holy Resist. Uh, it also has the same gimmick of, so her thing is that she summons a bunch of different elements of ads, um, but if she summons the dark one, it does still do the doom timer gimmick. So, you do have to react to that. We have a slightly slower team this time around, so... 
you know, compared to the, the normal vanilla Lilith fight that we did earlier. The main thing I wanted, and I think I'm going to hit there, is... Yeah, because I think that's it, isn't it? No, that's the lightning. We're fine. We can charge up, though. Yeah, the vanilla. Vanish got? Is that the one? No. Continue it. Oh, just, is this it? It's not. However, Bart is here. Bart has arrived. Anger Bart. And that was kind of what I was hoping. A lot of double casts. Uh, I'm going to make this easier on myself, but just hopefully banking on a double cast or two and just ending this fight quickly. Maybe never seeing the ad. We will probably see the ad, though. Because I think ad is going to spawn shortly. Could just kill the boss, though. Yep, that's the summon for the ad. Right, Dark Tornado is a dispel. That's probably what I was thinking of. This will probably just kill the boss. Nope. Boss lives. Why is it doing so much damage to the lightning element one? What? Oh boy. Yeah, so when there are two adds up, you start taking a lot of damage. But we're good. Just take everything out at the same time. Isn't one dim dungeon per pass per patch what they did in Stormblood as well? Could have sworn it was. Frankly, it's better that way. It lets them work on other stuff more instead of creating a whole bunch of assets for something that you enjoy doing about. five times, and then you hate it from then on. Because that's my problem with dungeons. I get fed up with them almost immediately. Also, well, welcome to this boss's gimmick. It doesn't stop. And then some ads. The ads in this fight are kind of ignorable. Uh, they have, they either do a single target attack that does nothing but saps you, or a single target damaging attack that is negligible once you do enough debuffs on them. See, that's all, that, that, that was a sap, that's all that did. Um, so yeah, you can kind of ignore the ads. The ads also have too much HP, making, like, it's not worth taking the ads out unless you're running, like, a summon comp or something like that. That's already hitting AoE. And then you're not really focusing on taking them out. 
It's just happening. Uh, obviously for this fight, it's Alexander. Equip Holy Resist. Like, it's what Alexander does. He hits Holy. The biggest problem with this fight is that stop. For all intents and purposes, it slows down the fight a lot. Uh, one other thing is that when he does the add summoning, he will give them either a shell or a protect. I think the first time he does add summon, he does shell. The second time he does protect. So you're going to need a, a debuff, a remove, a disp. I love that big fucking screen wide hitting move that, that that move is and it hits one person. It's my favorite part of this fight. But yeah, uh, Alexander here is Actually, probably the easiest fight out of the three Apocalypse. Uh, hits a mono element, so it's very easy to resist the damage he does. Uh, it doesn't do any status effects, so you can bring that mono element resist. And then you just kind of go to town. Then he does this. And then, uh, you just kind of wait for a bit. And you sit there and go, oh, okay. How strong is that stop? The boy has decent mine. Okay, it's about that much mine is what you need. Yeah, Ding Dong is just kind of immune right now. We can't do anything. There we go. Hmm, this could be a problem. Mainly because Deuce is doing a long cast right now. Yeah, but look how much just that AOE did to the two ads. It's super not worth taking out the ads. If they did a little bit more damage, maybe I could see suggesting taking them out, but they just don't do enough damage to make it justifiable. My wall might have fallen off at this point. That's uh, what's extremely possible. In fact, I think that's very plausible. But also, he's gonna die soon, so... 
The question is, do I care? Attacking the adds during the invulnerability phase for meter gain is a very good suggestion, actually. Perfect defense has gone off. Perfect defense is gone. We have broken this perfect defense by sitting on our hands and waiting. And then this one's the biggie. Actually deals less damage because it's piercing. Fucking okay, magic pixels. Beep. Mega Holy. When you don't have your buffs up yet, it deals a whole lot of damage. Mega Holy respects every single piece of defense. Every point. Well, that's fun. I guess there's a reason to have maybe a bit more everything. Don't worry, Karelia is getting ready. He's charging that move. It was Holy Circle all along. By God, that's Karelia's music. So I love that Alphma just has a better version of uh, Yuna's USB, which just lets her be constant damage on top of healing. USB? Yes, that's a BSB. I brain had to do a double take there. Wait, 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 wait hold on. Hold up. That's not right at all. That's not how it happened.
Son of Bozu. Here for the host. Welcome to the keeping of records. It's all right. It's a phone game. I enjoy it. I have problems with it too, but I enjoy it. Funny Alexander, but the one from Eleven. He's weird. He summons ads. We get to ignore the ads because the ads really aren't that much of a threat. Oh, time for the move. It's always interesting whenever an 11 event comes around and I'm actually forced to use 11 characters and then I remember I don't know who any of these people are. It's like, uh, Lion is apparently Gil Gilgamesh's daughter. Gilgamesh fucks? Maybe? But maybe it's not the same Gilgamesh, it's just a guy named Gilgamesh. Should have hit this last turn. Because now I lost the buff and I'm gonna have to do a single target spell. A oh, fool am I. Actually, he was about to do the second add summoning and go perfect defense, so. That'll be fine. Question mark. Maybe he'll stop somebody who isn't one of my offensive people, which also really wouldn't matter because. He goes perfect defense when he does that, so I don't care. Perfect defense. With one barrier. Well. Lion gets put in gay baby jail. hit this one. I'm gonna give my team another buff. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna re-up my, uh, my defensive buff. Re-up activate. Since I let activate fall off the first time. Actual lyrics in Sonic Boom. I need to sit down one day and actually look at the lyrics for Sonic Boom. Also, thank you for the 11 months, or 11, 10 months. Almost 11. Technically, you're in your 11th month. I think? Maybe that's how it works? Maybe it's the other way around. But anyway, thank you. He's vulnerable. No longer barrier. Excuse me, the only l what intelligible, there we go, I got there eventually. Lyrics in Sonic Boom is rise with me, rise with me, rise with me, rise up. Get it straight. No, oh, this is not going to be good. Well, it's getting close. I should get a heal off pretty soon. Well, Passion Salsa will go off. That's an AoE. And that's at full power now. 
Is this the icicle disaster? Is that the finishing strike? <laughs> uh, I'm done with this. Oh, please kill yourself the counters. That would whip ass. Nah, he dead. So that's it for the Final Fantasy XI event. Uh, next time, we have a Final Fantasy V event, which I think it's actually been quite a bit since we've had five. So, I'll see you for that one.